Mombasa is a coastal city in southern Kenya along the Indian Ocean. The town is known as White and Blue City in Kenya. It is the country's oldest and second largest city, with a population of about 1,208,333 people, according to the 2019 census. Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel again. Well, today I have decided to hit the street of Mombasa, Kilifi, and um, the coast of Mombasa. I checked the interiors and um, some private personal business, some local made food juice, and um, some snacks. Sit back and enjoy. <laughs> Idris is making us sugarcane juice in the street of Mombasa, Kenya with the lady owner of the business. He seems to like it. Yeah. <laughs> This uh, public transport cannot go inside. You now there are the local taxis that transport uh, people, even goods. Okay. The interior. But I noticed the 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 paint on the cars. It's kind of different. It puts different paints on the body of the car. Yes, it's, uh, we have uh, here. We used to call it Matatu culture. Matatu is the name we give those public buses. Okay. We call them Matatu. Now they have their culture of beautifying, oh, make them look beautiful okay. and attractive. Okay. So 
you can uh, make things attractive the way you want, okay. so long as they're not uh, obscene or lewd or bad things. Okay. Yes. Is there a union? Union. Yes, it's called Sako. Okay. So any particular route, like for example from uh, Kilifi to Mombasa, there is a Sako that operates okay. that particular route. Okay. So this one is called Matatus under one Sako. Okay. So this one is easier for the government to control them. Oh, oh. Before, you are just like an individual. You just okay. get your license and then you operate the route you want. Okay. But now they became so notorious. <coughs> If anything happens, it was hard like to test it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, if you have this circle, every all of these public buses and the driver's name and license are in the circle. So if anything happens, just get the license yes, plate. Yes. You get the circle. Okay. You get this uh, particular matatu. Okay. So, all, all over the country, you have to be under a particular under, yeah, 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 yeah. But also gives you now the route to operate because you cannot just go and operate anywhere. Okay. If you want to leave this route and go to Nairobi, you have to go back and return your uh, route license and take another one to let you pass to so Nairobi. Yes. Okay. I think that's good. It's different from uh, like uh, tour cars. Okay. The band we use. Okay. That okay. one is the license is for all over Kenya. Oh, within, okay. uh, within all over Kenya. Yeah. yeah. So you can go anywhere, anytime, if you're operating the tour uh, cars. Everywhere in Kenya, so long as it's a tour vehicle, you can. But not that you have to change the, the license. This one goes to the public beach. Okay. When you're coming back, we'll pass by there and see how it's always full. And it's free? It's free. When it, if you see the word public, it's free. Imagine. There's so many degrees <laughs> public beaches. You can't charge for a beach. You can't. There's no public beach in Nigeria. Ooh, you can't. It is owned by a private organization or just an individual. You know, even that big hotel, Sarova? Yeah. Eh? Yeah. If you want to access their beach, just go inside, buy juice, yeah. sit there, then go walk in the beach, come out, go to wherever you are living. Nobody's going to tell you anything. Imagine. You spend even less than five dollars. No, that's not working. Less than five dollars. Five dollars. That's not working like that in Nigeria. Just a glass of juice, not paying beach, then you can access the beach. No, nobody's asking me anything. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> if it happens in Nigeria, you will hear different calls. <laughs>